good people of YouTube, and Facebook, and Instagram, and Twitter, and all the other places on the interwebs that you may see me. Hi, my name is Sandy. I'm right here at the Drum Studio School of Music in Sarasota, Florida. How you doing? Today we're on the stage. I figured what the heck, we might as well do a video up here. So, um, a drummer friend of mine reminded me um, of one of my foot techniques um, after he saw it on Instagram. And I was like, oh yeah, that's right. So I thought maybe I would talk about that today. It's a it's a rocking motion on your on your bass drum foot, heel toe, and I taught myself how to play the drums, and that was one of the things that I taught myself. I remember trying to figure out how to get a double, and once I figured out how to bounce the pedal, um, I would get these like duples like. Exactly. I started to um, develop my foot technique further. I wanted to be able to just use the ball on my foot. And so that was a, a whole other thing that I did, but I'm very glad that I did. And I feel like that technique currently may have a little more speed, um, but, the, but the heel toe still has that, that buttery suppleness when I'm playing a groove um, that is a little less aggressive -y and attackish as the ball of the foot um, bass drum. taking the duples, those two bounces, and just creating, um, just basically going over the bar line until it gets back to one. Um, so the first one would be... Actually counted it out, I just feel it out, but for you. Some doubles, some heel toe, a little groovy fun around the drum set. 
If you'd like to know more about how to get those duples to be flatter or just even sounding instead of like that with your hand, you could do that with your foot too. So um, I have some systems that I could introduce you to if you're thinking about wanting to do that. So anyways, I'll see you next time.